Hello, good evening. We meet again. Sorry for quite some time without any video. Quite busy with daily life as usual, and I have some issue, I would say, with my power supply. A bit stupid mistake. When I built this, uh, when I ordered this power supply, I put the same spec here, like. Let me see if I can be focused here. I put the similar 5 volt 3 amps for the filament here. But I forgot that actually I upgrade the diode in here. Let me move the camera a bit there. So this diode actually, the Stealth Fairchild diode, which has higher voltage drop, about 0.6 volt. And unfortunately, I overlooked this, so I actually should need a higher secondary voltage from my transformers in order to get the correct secondary uh, DC voltage. But that's quite so unfortunate. So at this moment, I would like to test what would be the, the correct uh, secondary fault AC that I need in order to get the correct 6.3 volts filament uh, in my secondary uh, kind of, uh, sorry, let me put it here. In my secondary uh, filament tube here for the 12 AU7. So actually I've, I've started to test with this uh, uh, transformers. It's the custom high, I mean, that is superb quality of transformers. I order with here is the spec. Uh, hope you can get it focus at the moment. Yeah, this is a custom level 3 ultra ISO power transformers, high B C core, dual C core actually, and OCC copper wire with a permalloy shield, everything. So this is one of, I would say the very high quality power supply here, but just very unfortunate. Uh, the secondary voltage was five volt, right? With the diodes upgrade, I need higher secondary. But I think before we, we order the transformers. Before we, we order the transformers, I will say I will need to make sure what to be the secondary voltage that I need. So what I do actually at the moment, let me try to uh, remove the, the camera first. Here, so what I'm trying to do is I have a toroid transformer from Talema here. It has six of secondary volt AC so I use this transformer first to test if I give 6 volt AC whether I will get necessary secondary voltage in the DC that I need in this case right so as usual I'll be using my bull protection here to prevent if something goes wrong so I think this is gonna be a several bit for me to use and then here you can see at my home the voltage is 217, not not 220 actually. So that's what will be our setup for tonight, right? So here going direct to this uh, Talema Toroidal transformers goes to this custom power supply PCB going out to the. Uh, multi-tester and to the filament of 12 AU7. Actually, I'm using uh, 5814 here. So let's see what will be the result. So let me turn on my multimeter first here. Aim for the DC voltage. And then let me uh, put that here. Okay. So let's turn these things on. And we can see actually I will get about 6.4 DC volt, which is quite a right voltage that I need for this setup. Of course, my 12 AU7 or 5814 will be receiving roughly 6.5 which is that should be quite good enough for for the tubes right to kind of uh, uh, working right to kind of work right 
So the 6.5 should be slightly higher than the expectation from 12AU7, but I think it should be okay because it should be less than kind of a 10% of tolerance for this kind of tubes, right? So yeah, I guess that would be it. So we can try with uh, extra load because this power supply should be kind of supplying to uh, 12 AU7, but I guess it will drop like 6.4, 6.3, which is should be the right voltage for this tube. Right, so I've tried earlier with this five volt transformers and I end up getting like 5.5, 5.4, which is definitely that is lower than, than my expectation, right? Because this 12AU7 should be run, should be running at about 6.3. I know 5.5, 5.6, you can say is still, still doable for this kind of tubes, but I guess I need to either redo the power transformers or yeah, I need to use alternate power transformers like this Talema or some other stuff. So I guess that will be it for now. So maybe let me think about it first to see what would be the best option. I'm pretty sure reordering the transformer will be best option, but that will be one of very costly option that I have at the moment. But sometimes that kind of things you cannot really compromise. But anyway, that's probably a very quick update for today. So see you again next time with more updates. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.